In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite passing concept in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you are sitting here looking to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and it allows you to be able to stay up to date every time we release a new video. Now, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you might know that I've been running the Gun Bunch offense for the last several months here. I've actually been running it since about 2013, but really seriously getting into it over the course of the last couple of months. And I actually just released a full Gun Bunch offensive ebook. And so if you want to get my exact offense that I run in money games, in tournaments, and uh, competitively, I want to encourage you to head down to the description. You can get the Gun Bunch ebook right now for just 15 bucks. Today we're going to show you one of my favorite, my favorite passing play from the ebook, um, at least the favorite concept, and we're going to go over kind of why it's so effective. So uh, what we're going to do here is in our Gun Bunch, we want to make sure that we're going to put the best wide receiver that we have in the slot. So for the Packers, we're going to put Devontae Adams in the slot position. And then we're going to put Tavon Austin on the outside receiver, that is scaling on the opposite solo side receiver. And then we're going to have um, our best tackle, you know, basically available to move around where, however we need to move him around. And the play that we're going to be going over in today's video is the play Flood. Now, the reason that I like this play so much um, is just because it is that good. I mean, it literally is probably, for my money, the best passing play, or at least the best passing concept this year. I mean, it is a very, very effective uh, passing concept. So uh, I want to share it with you against a couple different coverages and show you my favorite way to run it, at least right now in Madden 21. So basically what we're going to do um, is we're going to put our running back on an option route. Um, the most lethal route that you can have out of the bunch, in my opinion, to your running back is an option route. If you can get good at running option routes, they will help you a lot. And then that's pretty much all we're going to do. Uh, we're going to motion the circle receiver to the right, just a couple steps right here, and then we're going to roll with it. And what you're going to notice is this route to the running back is just going to kill man-to-man -man coverage. In fact, you have several man beaters on this play, um, depending on how they approach it. So for example, if the safety goes vertical on the outside, then this little out route to Devontae Adams is going to get wide open and great separation against any man coverage just because, again, that's where your best receiver is going. Now, if they have a one step ahead out there, you know, that might be a little bit different, but they can't have one step ahead everywhere, and every route on this play pretty much beats man to man coverage. You have the option route on the backside. You also have this nice little dig route that gets about 15 yards down the field and does a really, really good job at getting open against a lot of different man-to-man -man coverages. Now, if you're really worried about man coverage and you want a surefire way to beat it, um, what you can also do is you can put your tight end on a little five-yard out route. This little five-yard out route to the tight end is super underrated. It's very effective against man-to-man. -man. If they're running a lot of man on you, I would recommend running that little five-yard uh, little quick out route. Now let's talk about zone coverage. So um, the beauty of this play is it just forces the defense to have to adjust. Uh, if they run zone coverage on you, you're going to have a lot of opportunity. Your first read is to try to hit this flat route. If you can hit that flat route to that tight end, take it every single time. And there will oftentimes be situations where, you know, it may look like they're covered, but if they are not underneath the flat, I meaning they're not literally even or underneath him, you can throw this with confidence and you can get about five to 10 yards every single time. And that will literally force them to have to uh, basically hard flat. And so then when they hard flat, what you're going to be able to do offensively, um, it with just a standard zone coverage is you're going to be able to hit this route to Devonte Adams, as you can see right there. Now I needed to wait a little bit on that. And this is part the primary reason why I like to motion out this circle receiver because it's going to help a ton with the spacing it's really going to help a lot you're going to see that he's going to pull those vertical those vertical zones deep then you're going to be able to hit that out route very consistently against really any zone coverage that they may run on you now let's talk about um let's talk about the cloud flat coverage so i showed you the curl flat coverage i want to show you the cloud flat coverage so if they play cloud flats out of like a cover three, you're going to notice here that they will do a little bit better of a job, but as you can see, you can still hit this flat route with a lot of confidence and a lot of power uh, against anything that the defense does. Now, let me jump over here to Tampa 2 for just a second. I think Tampa 2 probably does the best job 
out of all the coverages um, as far as how this is going to defend it. But as you see, that vertical route does such a good job, and this is why I like to have that vertical route be motioned out. They're going to have to make a decision. So let's say they're running cover two, right, and they run hard flats, and you've got this motioned out guy. You're going to see here that you're going to have a nice little pocket to be able to hit this little deep streak against a cloud flat coverage. So you've got a lot of opportunity with this play. The other thing is, um, against, against a lot of coverages, this left side right here to the running back, if it's a default coverage, oftentimes those yellow zones will back off to the in route, and so it's going to leave the running back open for an easy dot. Now I want to share with you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of what's going to happen as far as what adjustments they're probably going to make. So the first adjustment they're probably going to make is they're probably going to put their flats on 25 to 20, uh, 20 to 25 yards, okay? More than likely it's going to be 25, but um, it, you know, if they were just trying to stop flood, they might put it at like 15, okay? But, but that's basically the idea of what they're going to do. And then what you're going to notice here is I'm going to jump back into the 3 through 5 wide, and I'm going to break down a defense that I think they're going to be utilizing out of that formation. So I'm going to go jump, jump back into flood here, and what you're going to see here is I'm going to just drop these zones, and now what's going to happen is they're going to run a flat zone at about 25 yards, and they're going to run a curl flat zone at about 5 yards. I want you to watch this route to the tight end. You notice that that curl flat route will not always get out there. Curl flat routes inherently don't get to the sideline as well. And so if they're running a lot of curl flats or seam flat type of routes, you're actually going to have a pretty good opportunity to be able to beat it with this defense or with this with this concept. Because oftentimes, the especially with the motion out, this is going to give you a nice little window. You see there, I mean, he's he might get down there and swat it, but he's not going to intercept it, okay? Most of the time, he's not going to intercept it. So that's one little option. The next thing that you're going to notice is when they put their hooks on five yards, that's going to leave a lot of space in the backside of the defense here to be able to hit this in route. So the beauty of this is they're kind of this is just a play that is, in my opinion, it's one of the most unstoppable plays in the entire game. Now it's not going to get you a one play touchdown every time, even though it can against some coverages, but it will just get you consistent reads. Now, one of the other things that they're going to try to do is they're going to try to play man coverage, and they're going to try to basically put purple zones out there to try to stop these quick routes. Well, if they do that, that's why I like to motion out. You see here that if you motion snap the circle receiver and they're shading their coverage down, you're going to have a one-play touchdown over the top against cover zero. So this play just gives you the tools that you need to be able to be very effective offensively in this game. And this is kind of the starting point for the Gun Bunch Offensive eBook. So if you liked this video and you want to learn more about my Gun Bunch Offensive Scheme, the whole offensive guide is available in the description for just $15. It gets you everything that you need to know about Gun Bunch, breaks it down in a ton, a ton of detail for you. A lot of people have been having a lot of success in weekend league and in tournaments using this offense. So I want to encourage you to check it out. And um, it's a great way to support the channel, but I believe that this offense is truly going to be able to help you a ton uh, be able just to move the ball up and down the field at will against your opponent. I want to thank you for watching this video. And like I said, if you want to get the ebook, it's available in the description.